so we've been hiding something from you guys, but I'll discuss that later in this video. Currently, what we're working on now is something I've been very excited about. Ken's can, can uh, attest to that. Uh, what we're gonna be working on is our passive uh, solar water heater, also known as a batch water heater. Basically, what it is is a water heater that is stripped down to just the tank without the insulation or the exterior uh, metal. And it is in a box heated by the sun. So we're gonna be working on this for now until the slab is fully cured. Only uh, probably give it a couple weeks and then we'll finish that whole pump house. But in the meantime, this is our new project. Solar water heating. Step one, cut this bad boy open. <laughs> You're so excited to cut this open. No, I've just been always looking forward to this day. Literally for years now, like when we were back home, he was constantly looking this kind of stuff up. He wanted to do one at our old house, so he's very excited. <laughs> Finally get to experiment. There was a comment a couple weeks ago that somebody said it's like watching a huge science project and <laughs> it's so right, like that's what it feels like, honestly. Yeah. As far as this goes, I mean, during the summer it should heat 90 to 100% of our water and then in the winter time we might have to supplement it but it'll at least preheat all the incoming water because I mean the tanks are above ground so they're going to be whatever ambient temperature and then it comes in into this water heater and preheats it so from that point what I'm trying really hard to hold this camera up my arm is getting really tired like the footage is probably shaking okay and then from this point it goes on into the house and we'll show you that later on all right I'm gonna put the camera down now <laughs> I'm like how are you gonna talk So this is what the tank looks like once the whole exterior shell has been stripped off and all of the insulation is gone. And Spencer also sanded it down so it's nice and smooth. So the way that this is going to work is, you know, right now the cold water comes in here, the hot water comes out here, we have the anode, the pressure release valve. Pretty much all of this is going to end up being changed around because the water tank, which it's 50 gallon water tank, is going to be laying on its side. So we have to, we have to, <laughs> so we have to, <laughs> to swap some things around in order for it to work with our design. But we're not gonna be working on that right now. What we're going to actually start doing is start building the frame that the tank will go inside of. So for the frame, we've actually had this plan for a really long time. When we were at our old house, we had this sliding glass door in it and we took out the slider, put in French doors and we saved the slider with the intention of using half of it for our batch water heater for the front of it. Obviously all this trim around the door will end up being covered and it'll look nice once we're done. And it's a little dirty, if you can't tell. It's been in the barn the entire time since we first got here. <laughs> so we'll clean this up and we'll start building the frame.
So the framing's not totally done. I still have to add some two by fours across the bottom. That's what the tank is pretty much going to sit on and also be strapped to. So there'll be a piece of strapping that goes from one two by four over the tank to the other one. But other than that, I'll have to reconfigure some of these ports to optimize the heat because they're not in the best position from the factory for our scenario here. But uh, yeah, I think it's turned out pretty good so far. Can't wait to have rainwater <laughs> to feed it so then we can use it. All right, so we've kind of been hiding something from you guys. You want to tell them? So we have some very exciting big news and it's that we're having a baby. <laughs> I can't believe we're finally telling everybody. Yeah, we've been trying to keep this under wraps for many weeks now. <laughs> it's been getting a little hard though with my growing bump. <laughs> Her condition. <laughs> <laughs> trying to film and be in strategic yeah. spots to like not show it. It's been very difficult, so I'm very excited to finally get to share this with you guys. Let it all hang out. <laughs> I'm around halfway through, so we are getting pretty close to meeting the baby, which brings me to a point, because I know so many people are going to ask, there is one baby. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we are just so excited. I, I cannot imagine having a baby here, like bringing a child home. I know, I can't wait to meet them. <laughs> but yeah, let me show you guys my belly real quick. Yeah, it's no more that in-between stage where you're like, is she just bloated or <laughs> is she pregnant? Yeah, for all the people that were thinking that this was just pizza, no, it's a baby. <laughs> I'm doing well, I have been a little sick and which brings us to something else that we wanted to tell you guys because as you know we've been living in the barn the entire time that we've been here just a closed off section of it and as summer approached and i was very sick it was just pretty much unbearable in there so what we did was we bought a cargo trailer you guys have probably seen it in the background of some of our more recent videos we just got it in july and just when it started getting really hot and all we did was insulate it put an ac unit in it and we just have the bed in there and also we get to edit the videos in there so it gives us a nice break from oh, yeah this crazy heat right now which has been awesome yeah as far as cooking and our refrigerator and all that stuff is still in the barn uh this is just solely for the computer and sleeping but I gotta say, having air conditioning for the first time and since we've been out here, it's pretty nice. I know. Now I see what all the hype's about. <laughs> Honestly, I wish we would have done it sooner. Yeah, that's why we decided to do this right now, just because of being sick and everything. And because in the future, we do plan on converting the cargo trailer into an actual little camper because as you guys know we like to do road trips and everything so it has a purpose in the future as yeah. well yeah i um i cannot believe we're going to be parents still sounds weird super weird <laughs> we're gonna have a little one running around here and i just i feel so lucky that we get to film all this and look back at all this one day it's gonna be really really cool to look back at pre-baby days. <laughs> I didn't have any gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we are so curious to know what you guys think the gender is. So definitely let us know if you would like down below, whether you think it's a boy or girl, because we will definitely let you guys know in the future what it is. So on that note, we should probably go and keep working on the house. <laughs>
So this is roughly where the batch water heater is going to go. We still have to get the rest of the plumbing going up to it and we need to build a concrete slab. But for right now, what we're going to do is finish getting this conduit laid down and cover up the pecs so it's not exposed to the sun. 